day eight of June Stretch and Strength Challenge for Equestrians. I'm going to slowly take you through some stretches and strength work related to horse riders and I'm going to explain as we go how it can help you when you're on the horse. So you don't need any props, you don't even need a mat, you can just bring your carpet if you want to, um, but I've got a mat here. Okay, so we're just going to get cracking and we're going to start lying down on our backs. So slowly with control, lower the ground. Okay, so from here we're just going to move our hips over towards the right of your body and then you're going to flop your knees over towards the left. With your right arm, you're going to place it up and overhead, keeping that right shoulder blade fixed to the ground. With your left hand, you can place it on top of your knees if you want to, but that's not necessary, you can keep it to your side. So just going to start with a big inhale for your nose and an exhale out through your mouth. And then from here, we're just gonna keep going, inhaling and exhaling through our nose. All the way down to your belly. That's great. And then when we come back to center, we're gonna move our hips back to the center point. With our right ankle, we're gonna cross it behind our left knee, spread our hands through, lift up that left leg, and then bring your left knee, squeeze it in towards your body, opening up that right knee, so pressing that right knee forwards. These stretches are all really good for deepening that seat. So you've got a horse that moves fruit with, oh, so you've got a horse that moves with freedom, is happy to move forwards, so we're not restricting it through tight thighs and squeezing knees. We'll have a lovely rhythm as that horse travels forward with his ears forward at a happy pace. Great, and relax back down. Keep your feet quite wide here. We're just going to flop our knees to the left and then to the right. And feel if you can feel any unevenness as you move from one side to the other. We're always very quick to get on our horses and judge them and see how they feel that day. Let's judge ourselves. Are we stiff on one side than the other? That's great. Then move your legs back to centre. And then our hips and I are going to go over towards the left. Our knees are going to flop to the right. And our left hand is going to extend up and overhead. And our left shoulder blade is going to stay grounded to the floor. So these spinal twists are really good for the health of your lower back. If you suffer from any lower back pain, it's great. Horse riders normally do because they're constantly twisting whilst looking out lifting buckets of an awful technique and wheeling wheelbarrows not of a flat back we do it to ourselves so these exercises are going to help sort you out and then when you come back to center move those hips back to your center point lift up with your left leg place your ankle behind your right knee and lift up with that right foot and squeeze in, opening up that left knee. Big inhale all the way down towards your belly. Exhaling out through your nose. Good. Squeeze it in. Very good. And then we relax back down. From here, we're just going to bring both our knees in towards our chest. Squeeze and open them wide towards the shoulders. And then if you want to, you can grab a hold of your feet, lift up, and stack your ankles above your knees, and your knees are above your shoulders. So again, this is all just working on your deep seat whilst in the saddle. So we're not gripping. Very good. And then we're going to relax our feet back down. Our ankles are going to go below our knees. Our palms are up to the sky. We're going to press up vertebrae by vertebrae up off the ground. Keep your pelvis nice and level. And then relax back down. We're going to do a couple of these. Okay, so just keep working through these at your own pace. These are great for strengthening your lower back. You get a nice straight pelvis each time you raise it. Make sure it stays straight. And through our back becoming strong and our pelvis becoming straight. All the leg aids will improve. They become more accurate. And they won't confuse the horse. Keep working. 
and breathe. towards the sky, go against your body, or they can go out in front of you, whichever you feel 
appropriate for you right now. This is our last pose. So you can stay here whilst your breath comes back to normal. Really good. So slowly come back up out of it. And that is us for today. So I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please like, subscribe, comment, let me know how you got on, something you enjoyed or anything you struggled with, I can give you some tips on how to improve it. Okay, so thank you very much and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye.